What comes back to my mind as a really uh, amazing expression was wow. You know, the patient was, wow, I'm, I'm able to hold a pen, I'm able to write. I am Naji Riyashi, I'm a professor uh, in neurology at a hospital called Sheikh Shahbout Medical City in Abu Dhabi in collaboration with Mayo Clinic. And I'm also the assistant dean of clinical affairs for Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. When I first started, I was uh, concentrating on neurotoxicity, worked with uh, a toxin called MPTP that induces Parkinson in people. Now I'm mo focusing more on uh, neuromodulation, so I use non-pharmacological devices uh, to try to help patients with different neurological disorders uh, without having to use medications per se. I first heard about Exopulse in December of uh, 2019. I wasn't really a believer. I, I, I thought this is too good to be true. I had been working in this field for 20 some years already and I had never seen something like it. The Exopulse suit works by reverse inhibition which means that it will apply stimulation to the antagonist of the muscle that is spastic. By doing so it will release the spasticity which will affect the patient positively because it will allow them to ambulate better, to have a better balance and to make use of their upper extremity better. Patients that are candidate for the suit would be patients with spasticity in general. That spasticity can come out of stroke, out of multiple sclerosis, out of cerebral palsy. It is non-pharmacological, so it will not have any centrally induced side effects because it does not act like this, it acts with the peripheral input of impulses that go to the brain and it helps the muscles relax. The longevity of the effect also is another plus. We need to give the patient the opportunity to try the suit no matter when in the disease process we are doing that because we will know very quickly whether the suit will work or not. The other positive finding is that with these patients that have impairment because of the spasticity, once we release the spasticity, they will be more apt to benefit from physical therapy because the therapist will not have to spend time working on decreasing the spasticity. So that is already done by the suit and the therapist would spend time reinforcing the muscle, making it more powerful, making it uh, uh, more functional rather than spending half of the session just trying to relax the muscle to then be able to uh, get it to work properly. You know, the patient was, wow, I'm, I'm able to hold a pen, I'm able to write. Wow, I'm able to stand and walk. Wow, they were very impressed in such a positive manner that made it so worthwhile to, to us. I mean, we had worked very hard on, on trying to establish these trials. We ran something like 20 some patients in two days, that was a lot of work for the whole team, both the Exopulse team and, and, and for us at the hospital where I was working. But it made it all worthwhile because the patients were, wow. I would say 70% of the patients I've tried, after one hour we will see an improvement. The effect of the suit on the quality of life of these patients is drastic. I mean, we, we go from a patient that has extreme difficulty with ambulation to a patient that is walking almost normally, smoothly. There are so many variables that are non-measurable, but that are, that are improved and, and make the quality of life so much better of these patients that they are keen on using it. You usually will notice an improvement in their quality of life altogether. Why? Because they will become more ambulatory and less dependent. Even if they're not going to go outside of their house, just being able to move freely within the house, to cook, to clean, to write, to sit down and write an email, I mean, to bathe alone, to dress alone, this all will make such a superb difference in their life. And so that will give them the will and the power to be able to do more, and that will boost their morale once you give them that opportunity. And that's extremely important.